I mentioned not that long ago that it's really difficult to be able to participate in events that I get invited to. Oh, shit. The We All Grow Familia event was coming up and we received notification that nursing mothers were able to attend with their child. Inicio. Ya sabes, ¿verdad? Ya sabes, que chiquitos. Y qué guapo estás. This was a really big deal for me because a lot of these conferences are filled with really rich information. And then, of course, you're surrounded by women that are pure inspiration, women that you want to emulate. And I really believe that if you surround yourself with this type of energy, you absorb it. It's found on forever21.com. She commissioned Mac Cosmetics to start the Selena line with the petition. The conference took place in the incredible Munchkin headquarters. There were many sponsors there and it was just really nice to be able to interact with the sponsors and also get product knowledge as well as finding out what the companies are doing for our community. We got something in the mail and it is from Adidas Originals. Thank you for always repping the brand. What? Oh, I don't know. I'm already getting anxiety about leaving the baby. I got ready for the shoot really quick. Um, it looks like crazy makeup, but it's really not. It's actually just these really elaborate eyelashes that have a thick band. So it makes me look like I'm wearing eyeliner and eyeshadow, and I'm not. Bricia called me and asked me if I wanted to participate in a shoot where um, she was going to be featured by Captain Morgan and Me Too as a Latina game changer. And of course, I said yes. We had so much fun shooting and I'm just so proud of Bricia and all her accomplishments what her parents have set forth for her and how she's been able to take it along with her siblings to another level. So I was delighted to be able to participate. We just finished filming. What did we do today, Bricia? We, we pretended to be friends, but we really are friends. We pretended to dance. That was not... That was total pretend. That was, that was a fail moment. <laughs> That was like a total pretend. I didn't even know what to do. We pretended. And then we pretended to drink. Yeah. We pretended to drink a lot. I got lash extensions. I saw that. They look really good. I saw that. The girl did a good job. Right? I'll leave a link to the video in the description bar if you guys want to check it out. I've been receiving so many beautiful messages and words of encouragement off of the uh, Mommy Lowe's vlog and I'm just so I could start crying again I'm not gonna do that but I'm so overwhelmed by all of the love and support that I got off of that vlog via my personal messages on Instagram and on Facebook and from everybody, from friends, from everybody, from people I've never met. I just want to say thank you so much. I really felt the love and the support and I just really felt um, uplifting. Like I felt an uplifting that I really can't explain. I also wanted to share that in that video when um, I, I started crying and I was in the car and I want, was um, saying I was going to go home, I actually successfully merged all the way to the left to make an illegal U-turn. And as I started to turn the wheel to make a left, the traffic like magic just started moving and I was at the location I needed to be in in two minutes. I kid you not, probably less than two minutes, but I feel like if I say less than two minutes, it sounds unrealistic, but I'm not kidding. I, I was like, at that moment, I was at point like where I was at my very low, and then all of a sudden I was in this most inspirational, most beautiful event ever. That moment was such a pinnacle moment in my life because that week had been hard just all of these things I've had about two years of a lot of downtime 
working on passion projects which sometimes if you're working on passion projects it can get really hard and you can get really discouraging discouraged because you're kind of planting seeds planting seeds planting seeds and it takes a while sometimes to see your seeds flourish and grow it was almost like a lesson when I saw the traffic lift itself it was just metaphorically a reflection of my life at the point where I was like gonna give up and I'm like tired of trying tired of planting seeds and then all of a sudden like magic the road ahead of me was beautiful the event was one of the most inspirational events I've been to in a really long time and then on top of that just like the everything that proceeded after that event has been magic I'm excited to share with you guys a lot of the things that have happened in about in a short couple of weeks but when things are happening in your life it's really important for you to conserve the energy of those things in other words you just have to hold and harbor that energy until it fully manifests itself because otherwise you have you can potentially be letting go of some of that energy and it just the opportunity just kind of goes away. I gotta go.